Operation Rio Grande, which aims to help the homeless, is set to end this summer. However, will Salt Lake County, County really be ready by then? And what happens next? Well, hundreds of people actually gather today to try to find out. ABC4's Nick McGurk joins us live to tell us what he found out. Thank you. Don, one of the headlines from today's meeting from Lieutenant Governor Spencer Cox is that the road home shelter, which is behind me, it was set to close at the end of June, and we're told it's not going to meet that deadline. The road home shelter will not be closing on time. We're told probably a couple of months delay, and that's because one of the resource centers in South Salt Lake is having some construction delays. Certainly a lot of people want to know when this finally closes, what's going to happen in this area? I have my doubts. Doubts and hopes fill the room today. The real question is what is next? Hundreds of people hoping to learn more about the future post Operation Rio Grande. Then there's going to be a period for sure, six months to a year, where we're helping the, um, the, the homeless population through that transition. Lieutenant Governor Cox says delays at the South Salt Lake Resource Center have pushed back the road home shelter's closure by a couple of months. It was supposed to close in June of this year. Cox pledged there would be law enforcement in the Rio Grande area for a significant time after the road home closes. He also said he doesn't want the three new resource centers to be magnets for drugs and crime. We know that instinctively, and as, as people move back into the area, those who come back who um, are experiencing homelessness, they're going to go to that area, right? They may not know where the new resource centers are, so we're going to have transportation. How do we get them where they need to go? Um, how, how, how do we make sure that we, we continue to patrol that area, the work that's going around, uh, on around Pioneer Park to make sure that that area remains safe for families. Those who showed up today did so hoping that Operation Rio Grande will help their community now and in years to come. We need to make sure every individual who happens to be homeless has a place to transition to before the new facility closes. Every state in the country is dealing with the same issues and nobody has been able to solve them and Salt Lake is making the assumption because they're Salt Lake and they're, they care and they have a little funding that they're going to be able to do what nobody else has ever been able to do. And my problem is they're making too many assumptions. Now, we did try to drill down and get some specifics on just how long we would see visible law enforcement in this area and the way that we have uh, since Operation Rio Grande began. And we don't have a specific amount of time for that. We're told a lot more details are going to come out next week at a news conference. We'll be there, of course, and let you know what we find out. Live in Salt Lake, I'm Nick McGurk, ABC4 News.